There are approximately 5.8 billion religiously affiliated people worldwide, according to the Pew Research Center's Forum on Religion and Public Life. In the U.S., Gallup data suggests three in four Americans identify with a religious faith. But those numbers are dropping, a low point since Gallup began asking the question over 80 years ago, and a shift researchers believe is widespread. This is a, a national trend. We're seeing it across every particular denomination, um, every sort of cultural, racial, and ethnic subgroup. Uh, no one's really uh, been spared here in, in terms of the declines. Survey findings show Protestantism and Catholicism in America have seen a great drop in identification. Pew Research polling shows under one in five Americans identify as Catholic, a 3% decline since 2009. And it's not that these Americans are turning to other religions. They're turning away from it altogether. Experts call this growing group religious nuns, which are made up of atheists, agnostics, and those with no specific organized religion. Columnist and author Jill Filipovich considers herself a part of this growing trend. Many of us are finding connection, spirituality, in ways that, you know, for our parents maybe would seem quite odd. But for us, feel more relevant and feel more authentic. A connection that new poll findings found is away from God. America's belief in God has dropped 6% since 2017 to a new low of 81%, according to Gallup. Father Daniel Daza Jaller, a Catholic priest, says one particular group is behind this exodus. Among our, our youth, especially Gen Z, there's trends of a distrust in institutions. Filipovich, who calls herself a millennial, believes the shift in religious affiliation is because younger Americans are more open-minded. Millennials are relatively progressive people, and the Catholic Church is a formal patriarchy. <laughs> you know, it's an organization in which women are formally barred from being in positions of power. Gallup poll shows 66% of adults born before 1946 are still members of a religious organization. That number drops to 58% for baby boomers, 50% for Gen X, and 36% for millennials. Daniel Cox from the center-right think tank the American Enterprise Institute believes the trends are a result of Americans' upbringing. One of the, the most basic things that we're seeing uh, across generations, so now looking at Generation Z, is that they were simply raised less religious. They, they had less exposure to religious ideas. They participated in religious services and other activities less often. And so they are simply carrying that on into adulthood. Rabbi David Steinhardt has served the Boca Raton, Florida community for over two decades. He believes the challenge is catering to a more modern American lifestyle. The impact of technology, changes in the family, changes in de gender identification, there's significant concern among young, some young people about how politically act, active uh, certain traditions have, particularly uh, on the conservative side, and how there's um, you know, a focus on certain issues like abortion or um, same-sex marriage it gets elevated above other issues like poverty. Ultimately, religious institutions are most impacted. Cox says it's a complicated environment for the religious spaces because of America's political polarization, and that has consequences. We're seeing a uh, decline of interest in people serving as religious leaders uh, across a wide number of denominations and traditions. Uh, we're seeing sort of smaller, and particularly rural churches. Uh, many of them are closing or they're having a hard time um, raising funds uh, just to, to stay operating. Faith leaders say they are listening and trying to change with the times. The changes for me represent great challenges and, in fact, opportunities. When you look at the 2,000 years of, of the Catholic Church, uh, there's definitely has been ebbs and flows. And some, like Father Daniel, are focusing on the words of former Pope Benedict, who said, quote, the church will become small. Religious leaders are holding out hope that in this case, less could mean more. Amber Strong, Newsy.